If you struggle with shyness or social anxiety, check out our free no BS training course with actual useful advice you can do from home. None of that just get out there nonsense. The link is in the description below. For now, let's get to today's question. The question, what's the number one reason why you hate your social anxiety? If you had to meet me or view me from afar in a social setting you wouldn't guess that I have social anxiety. Only recently have I discovered that my symptoms, which I will describe shortly, are common in people with this affliction. I'm the girl who talks a lot, too much actually, and I often, much to my chagrin, dominate conversations. I promise myself before I go out that I will listen more than talk and focus primarily on steering the conversation back to other people by asking interesting questions, showing my curiosity or by nodding pensively which will give them the negative space to talk about themselves more. Yet, time and time again my plan fails. I get excited being around people and I start to talk more. As each word passes my lips I can feel a part of me weighing and counting how much of each conversation has been my domain. I can feel my brain saying, whoa, slow down, you're really going to regret this in the morning but somehow I override the discomfort and continue in the same vein. I am not one of those people who have excellent storytelling abilities, a great sense of humor and a magnetic personality which means that they can afford to dominate social engagements. I'm an eccentric know-it-all that likes to impress. I also treat every single person the same way regardless of their interests and abilities. I'm highly intelligent, in a bookish, academic sort of way, with a very low EQ. In short, I am embarrassingly badly socialized. Now that the background has been covered, here's what I hate the most about my social anxiety. No matter how much I enjoy socializing and how well I think a particular event went, the morning after I will uncontrollably analyze each aspect of the interaction from facial expressions, bored glances and what I believe each person actually thought of me. I will cringe and feel very anxious. It's like drinkers regret without drinking. The worst part is that it can be years after an interaction and an embarrassing memory will float into my mind at random filling my body with hot shame. It has destroyed any remnants of trust I may have had in myself. I won't know until the next day if what I said or did was inappropriate, embarrassing, cringy or hurtful. I don't know why this happens but my life is a continuous loop of loneliness, shame and regret and resolution. I secretly think that everyone hates me. I wish I could be in a group of people and make them laugh. I wish other people would want my company. I know that I have to work on this and there are resources out there that can help. But basically I need a remedy for being me. Find more answers and a free audiobook on how to talk to anyone in the description below. No useless advice like just get out there I mean actual useful advice from people who have really dealt with shyness and social anxiety and overcome it in their own lives.